In the modern era of air and missile defense, the threat environment is evolving faster than at any time since the Cold War. Hypersonic glide vehicles, maneuverable re-entry vehicles, stealth aircraft and saturation attacks from cruise missiles are no longer theoretical but active elements of the battlefield. For NATO, this demands systems that can counter not only traditional aircraft or short-range ballistic missiles, but also low observable targets and high-speed threats. Among the most advanced European solutions is the SAMP-TNG system, the product of Franco-Italian cooperation, carrying the Aster 30 b one nt missile designed to close some of NATO's most dangerous defensive gaps. SAMP-T entered service in the 2010s as a mobile medium to long-range air defense system against aircraft, UAVs, and ballistic missiles. Developed by Eurosam, MBDA, and Thales, it gave Europe a domestic alternative to the American Patriot. Mounted on 8x8 trucks, it could be rapidly deployed and fully integrated into NATO's networks. It used the original Aster-30 missile already proven in naval service aboard the French and Italian Frem frigates and Horizon-class destroyers. The newest variant, SAMP-T-NG Next Generation, goes beyond an incremental upgrade. This is not just a replacement of components, but a fundamental modernization of the system's radar, battle management, and missile capabilities. Central to this leap forward is the introduction of the Aster-30 B-1NT, Block 1 New Technology, a missile that extends engagement ranges, increases interception accuracy, and brings new capabilities against stealth targets and advanced ballistic missiles. The B-1NT version retains the same basic aerodynamic design as earlier Asters, but incorporates a completely new seeker head, an active Cobb band radar seeker capable of detecting smaller and lower radar cross-section targets. In practical terms, this means that aircraft designed with radar-absorbing materials and shaping, like the Su-57, J-20, or even the F-35, are far less likely to slip past its engagement envelope. It also improves terminal phase accuracy against ballistic targets traveling at speeds above Mach 4. In the NATO architecture, this capability is vital. Traditionally, short- to medium-range ballistic missile defense relied on the upper layers, systems like the U.S. Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense or the THAAD system, to neutralize threats in mid-course. But not all threats can be intercepted in mid-course, and some arrive on trajectories that demand terminal phase engagement. The Aster 30 B1NT launched from SAMP-TNG fills this gap for Europe creating a layer that can now operate both independently and as part of NATO's integrated air and missile defense system. The radar component of SAMP-TNG has also undergone a major transformation. Its new Thales Ground Fire 300 ASA radar replaces the old Arabelle, offering 360-degree coverage, longer range, higher track capacity, and stronger resistance to jamming. The system can track hundreds of targets and guide multiple interceptors simultaneously. Mobility remains one of SAMP-T's defining strengths. The launchers, radar, and command modules are mounted on high-mobility trucks, allowing the battery to redeploy in hours, a significant advantage over more static systems. This is particularly relevant in European theater, where short relocation times can mean the difference between survival and destruction in the event of precision strikes. When compared to the American Patriot system, SAMP-TNG occupies a similar niche, but with different design priorities. Patriot, developed by Raytheon, entered service in the 1980s and has been continually upgraded with the Pac-3 MSE missile segment enhancement variant now serving as its most advanced interceptor. Pac-3 MSE excels at hit-to-kill engagements against ballistic missiles, using kinetic energy rather than proximity detonation. Its range against aerodynamic targets is generally quoted at around 70 to 100 kilometers, 43 to 62 miles, with somewhat shorter range against ballistic threats. 
Aster 30 B1NT, in contrast, offers up to 120 to 150 kilometer, 74 to 93 miles range against aircraft and extended reach against ballistic targets, depending on engagement parameters. This means that for wide area defense against a mix of aircraft and missiles, Aster provides a slightly broader aerodynamic engagement zone, while Pack 3 focuses on high precision ballistic intercepts. In terms of mobility, Patriot batteries are generally larger and heavier with a more complex deployment process. They excel in fixed defense of strategic assets but require more time to reposition. SAMP TNG, by contrast, is designed for rapid deployment across varied terrain, aligning more closely with European operational concepts, where air defense assets may need to quickly protect shifting front lines or relocate to counter new threats. Another key difference lies in their guidance philosophies. Aster uses PIF-PAF control, a combination of aerodynamic control surfaces and direct lateral thrust from small thrusters located around the missile body. This allows for extremely agile maneuvers during terminal interception, especially useful against highly maneuverable aircraft or endoatmospheric ballistic targets. Pack 3 being smaller and optimized for hit to kill, achieves maneuverability through aerodynamic fins and internal thrusters, but follows a different engagement logic, focusing on precision collision rather than fragmentation kill. One of the interesting operational advantages of SAMP TNG is its adaptability for naval integration. The Astra family is already deployed on warships across France, Italy, and the UK in various configurations, meaning that logistics, training, and missile maintenance share a common foundation between land and sea-based defense. This is something Patriot does not have. It is strictly a land-based system. For countries operating both SAMP TNG on land and Aster-equipped warships, the interoperability benefits are significant. The Aster 30 B1NT's capability against stealth targets also deserves special mention. While no air defense missile can claim a perfect interception rate against fifth-generation aircraft, given their combination of low observability, electronic warfare, and high-speed penetration tactics, the Cobb Band Seeker and improved signal processing give the B1NT a realistic chance to acquire and engage such aircraft at tactically useful ranges. From a strategic perspective, SAMP TNG strengthens NATO's European pillar. While Patriot systems are widely deployed in Germany, the Netherlands, Poland, and other allied nations, having an advanced European-built alternative reduces reliance on American systems and diversifies the alliance's defensive toolkit. Of course, no system is without limitations. Aster 30 B1NT, for all its improvements, is not designed for exo-atmospheric interception. It cannot replace systems like THAAD or SM-3 for high-altitude ballistic defense. Likewise, while its range is excellent for a mobile medium-range system, it does not match the area coverage of some longer-range strategic SAMs. In saturation attacks, where dozens of missiles and aircraft arrive nearly simultaneously, engagement capacity per battery could be a constraint though this is mitigated by integration into a wider layered network. Patriot, for its part, also has strengths and weaknesses. Its Pac-3 MSE is highly optimized for ballistic missile defense, but less versatile in engaging multiple aircraft types at longer ranges. Moreover, its mobility limitations make it less flexible in fast-changing theaters, yet its combat record provides a strong foundation of operational credibility. One fascinating fact about SAMP TNG is its deployment flexibility. The system can operate with just four key vehicles, the radar, command post, and two launchers, yet scale up to eight or more launchers for high-demand operations. Each launcher carries eight ready-to-fire Aster missiles, meaning a full battery can have over 64 interceptors on standby. Reload times are relatively fast for its class, and the launchers can be dispersed over several kilometers to complicate enemy targeting. In terms of survivability, both SAMP-T and Patriot rely on their integration with other sensors and defense layers. Alone, no battery can protect against every conceivable threat. 
But when tied into airborne early warning aircraft, space-based sensors, and other SAM batteries, they become part of a dense, overlapping shield. In NATO operations, SAMP-TNG could serve as a flexible plug-in component, rapidly deployed to reinforce a threatened sector, then withdraw once the threat subsides. The introduction of the Aster 30 B1NT into service will also have an export dimension. Countries already operating Aster-based naval systems such as the UK, Singapore, and Saudi Arabia could theoretically integrate SAMP-TNG for land-based coverage, simplifying training and maintenance. For nations considering alternatives to Patriot, either for cost, political, or operational reasons, SAMP-TNG presents a European option without sacrificing performance. Looking ahead, the evolution of both systems will continue. Patriot is expected to receive further radar upgrades, including the lower tier air and missile defense sensor, which will offer 360-degree coverage and improve discrimination of complex threats. SAMP-TNG in turn is being prepared for potential integration with future European interceptors designed to counter hypersonic threats. This forward compatibility is essential as hypersonic weapons traveling at Mach 5 Plus with unpredictable flight paths represent perhaps the most challenging targets for any defense system in the coming decades. Ultimately, the SAMP-TNG and Patriot systems are less competitors than complementary tools in the broader NATO defense strategy. Patriot brings decades of operational combat use and a highly refined ballistic missile intercept capability. SAMP-TNG introduces a new generation of European-built air defense with extended range, high mobility, and advanced capabilities against stealth and maneuverable threats. The SAMP-TNG with its Aster 30 B1NT missile ensures that Europe is not merely a consumer of missile defense technology, but a producer of cutting-edge systems capable of defending its skies against the threats of tomorrow. And in that sense, it represents not just a technical achievement, but a strategic statement. Europe will defend itself with its own tools against whatever the future battlefield may bring. What are your thoughts on the SAMP-TNG? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get our latest videos straight to your notifications.